Rule number five, follow best practices when preparing vaccines. In this segment, we're going to discuss three best practices with regard to preparing vaccines, reconstitution, diluent, and vaccine preparation and syringe handling. Reconstitution means that the freeze-dried vaccine powder in one vial must be reconstituted or mixed with the diluent or liquid from another vial. When reconstituting vaccines, you should only use the diluent provided for that particular vaccine. You can always refer to the vaccine package insert shipped with the vaccine and the diluent for detailed instructions. But here are some key points to remember. Before reconstituting, First, check the labels on both the freeze-dried vaccine vial and the diluent to verify that they are the correct two products to mix together. Vaccine diluents are not interchangeable. Also, check that the diluent is the correct volume and make sure that neither the vaccine nor the diluent has expired. Never use expired vaccine or diluent. Once you have verified it's the correct match, proper volume, and that neither has expired, you can mix the vaccine. However, do not mix a vaccine until you are ready to administer it to a patient. After mixing, check the appearance of the reconstituted vaccine. Make sure that the color and appearance match the description of the package insert. If you notice discoloration, extraneous particulate matter, obvious lack of resuspension, or it appears that it is not thoroughly mixed, do not use the vaccine. Label and segregate the vial in proper storage and contact your state or local health department for guidance. If reconstituted vaccine is not used immediately, take the following steps. Clearly mark the vial with the date and time the vaccine was reconstituted. Place the vaccine in the refrigerator, not the freezer, and keep it in a temperature range between 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit, which is two to eight degrees Celsius. Make sure it is protected from light as well. Be sure that the reconstituted vaccine is used within the time frame indicated on the package insert. If it's not used within the designated time period, it must be discarded. The bottom line is this. Do not store reconstituted vaccine if at all possible. Vaccines that must be reconstituted are shipped with diluents specific to that vaccine. Consequently, vaccine diluents are not all the same. Some diluents contain vaccine antigen, some have to be refrigerated, some should not be refrigerated, and some can either be stored in the refrigerator or at room temperature. One thing all diluents do have in common, however, is that they should not be stored in a freezer. The vials are not designed for this temperature extreme and can crack. Whatever the diluent or vaccine, consult the manufacturer's product information for guidance. When feasible, Diluents that require refrigeration should be stored with their corresponding vaccines. Regardless of where the diluents are stored, each vaccine and diluent should be carefully matched before reconstitution. This helps decrease the chance that someone will inadvertently administer the wrong vaccine or use the wrong diluent to reconstitute a vaccine. Providers often inquire about drawing up doses of vaccine before they are needed. For example, at the beginning of a shift, this is not acceptable. In fact, national immunization programs strongly discourage the practice of pre-filling vaccines into syringes, primarily because of the increased possibility of administration and dosing errors. After all, once in the syringe, vaccines are difficult to tell apart. Other problems associated with this practice are wasted vaccines and possible bacterial growth in vaccines that do not contain preservatives. There are some situations in which pre-filling may be acceptable. If your clinic is administering only one type of vaccine, influenza for example, and there is no risk of confusion with other vaccines. Exceptions aside, another reason to discourage the practice in general is that some vaccines have a very limited shelf life after reconstitution. As you'll recall from our earlier discussion on varicella-containing vaccines, some vaccines have as little as 30 minutes of viability after reconstitution before they must be discarded. Another factor to consider is that disposable syringes, syringes other than those filled by the manufacturer, are designed for immediate administration of vaccines, 
not for storage of vaccines. In accordance with best practice standards, these syringes should be administered by the person who filled them. Any syringes drawn by the provider must be stored at the recommended temperature range and used or discarded at the end of the clinic day. As an alternative to pre-filling syringes, manufacturer-supplied pre-filled syringes are designed for both storage and administration. Keep in mind that once a manufacturer pre-filled syringe is activated, for example, if the cap is removed or the needle is attached, the sterile seal is broken. The syringe should be used that day or discarded at the end of the clinic day. As a general rule, the best practice to follow in your clinic is to draw one syringe at a time and then administer the vaccine to your patient within a short time frame. This is by far the most reliable method to ensure that your patient receives the correct, properly mixed, and viable vaccine.